Do you need a lot of buttons in a small amount of space? Well then you've come to the right place. As you can see here, there are 64 inputs and that goes down to 16 outputs. That way each button has its own unique output. You can even put picture frames on top so it's easier to see what the button does and the way this works. There are two sets of rails running 90 degrees from each other and you can see how they get activated. This is just a dropper which gets QC powered by this which then powers this rail and this rail just gets directly powered here. And if you want you can take this matrix output and convert it to binary like here. And then you have 64 buttons starting from 0 going all the way to 63. And if you want to expand this and have even more buttons that's also pretty easy to do. And then you can have 256 blocks or inputs with all its own unique binary number. Or if you want to expand just with the normal matrix, that's also easy to do. And there's not really a limit to how big you can go, but I think at a certain point you have enough input buttons. Kind of weird glitch I noticed here is this panel is just like that panel I showed there. Works exactly the same. But somehow these on the sides have some weird timing issue. Which I don't understand because they are exactly the same as the ones in the middle. So, I don't know if somebody knows how this could be, let me know in the comments. If you want to build this, I can show you the normal button matrix real quick. It's easy, just node block, observer, rails running 90 degrees from each other, then a dropper and an observer again. And then if you want to build the binary output version, just go to my Discord and take the world download from there. And then you can see for yourself. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you can find some use for this. Goodbye and till next time.